All right, why bodybuilding will never go mainstream. I don't know. I'll probably title this Will Bodybuilding Ever Go Mainstream. Leave it open. But, you know, come on. You know it's a trick bag. There's, you'd have to, you dare, I would have to be a damn fool. Because I'm not going to say anybody else is a fool for believing whatever they want to believe. But I would have to be a damn fool to think for one moment bodybuilding will ever go mainstream. It's just not going to happen. For many obvious reasons. First thing, I just want to throw this out there that I don't, this video, it just seems like a total, you know, I, th th there's so much shit going on right now that's really relevant and actually important that really matters that, I don't know, I got to make videos, right? And people are interested in these subjects. I've had people ask me shit like this, so I'm going to make a video about it, but I don't think it's important. It matters one iota. Compared to what we really need to be thinking about today, you know, it's just so, it pales desperately in comparison to, you know, more pertinent matters now. I mean, who really gives a shit? You know, bodybuilding amounts to fuck all with all we have to worry about right this minute. You know, we got shit to do with shit. But, you know, people keep making videos. And, of course, I'll make the uh, obligatory training video with bands because I've done the bands thing, like, how long ago? Two years ago, a year ago? I don't know how long. So I do the bands. I've done a couple videos with them. So, but I'm going to do a hardcore band workout, man. I'm going to tell you what. If I'm going to do it, I'm going to screw around with it at all, play around with it. I'm going to get it done. I'm not going to, you know, I'm going to get a workout, a real workout in, or else I'm not going to mess with it. Eh, jeez. And I gotta clean my garage out really well because to resituate my weights because I gotta train out there now. You know, like like full time. Anyway, will bodybuilding ever become mainstream or make it mainstream? No, of course it won't. Um, and if people have asked me, like I said, and what really made me think of it or key in on it right now is I just watched a video this morning it was one of uh, Generation Iron's videos, which not a fan by any means at all. Uh, but <laughs> yeah, I don't. I don't want to get into it. So say no more than that. But uh, I only watched it because I saw Mac was on there. So of course I'm going to watch it, you know, because I like Mac. So uh, that's the only reason I watched it. But. They were talking to him and asking him the same old tired questions they ask everybody, you know, that everybody asks everybody. Do you think bodybuilding will ever go mainstream, or do you think this is why it's not going mainstream or whatever? And, um, and he gave his opinion on it. Here's my viewpoint is it's never going to go mainstream because have you ever been to a bodybuilding show? Have you ever been to one? Have you ever been to one? It is akin, in my opinion, to watching a game of chess, a professional game of chess, a chess tournament, going to a chess tournament. Now, there are people out there that there's a market for that, that would, that would just love to see, you know, whoever the two top guys are. So I have no idea who they are, just like the average person has no idea who Mr. Olympia is. Um, that would love to sit and watch something like that and find it... Um, enthralling to watch these two mastermind chess players strategically try to best the other but me it's kind of like watching paint dry you know like please I have like relevant real life shit to do that's my perspective not everybody else's perspective but the people that would enjoy watching that small audience definitely out there Definitely genuine, small audience. You understand? Bodybuilding, same bullshit. It's a male beauty pageant, basically. That's what it's looked at and perceived by the general public. And in that regard, it doesn't matter if it's natural bodybuilding or if they're enhanced or they're huge freak show, you know, or if they're uh, very aesthetic, you know. It's not going to really have a whole lot of mainstream appeal. Who wants to watch that shit? Now, something like uh, physique, I guess. 
they're starting to get over, they're getting out of hand with that too, size-wise. But if they kept it aesthetic and, you know, more like the male model type look, I could see you're probably going to draw some females. And, and of course, you're always going to have the audience of males that like other males that, you know, are attracted to other men. You're always going to have that audience, but that's, that's, that's just a built-in audience. You know what I'm saying? That's like, you know, akin to saying, uh, you know, what dog doesn't like a bone? You know what I mean? I'm not saying they're dogs. I'm saying what dog doesn't like a bone? It's pretty much a given. Right? What mouse doesn't want some cheese or peanut butter? It's pretty much a given. It's just a, you know, it's a uh, universal thing. And and if you're a heterosexual guy, you know, for me, curvy chicks in bikinis. You're not going to take a double take and look at that, even if you, you know, you're not going to be able to resist just, just you're going to acknowledge that you saw it in your brain. Of course you're going to. It's a given. Um... You know, and, and men that are attracted to other men. That's a built-in audience for something like bodybuilding or any of these physique things where men are going to get into elite level conditioning and appearance and shape. And they're going to, you know, shave all their body hair off basically and oil themselves up to, to accent, accent the valleys and depths and, you know, all the cuts and separations of their muscles. And then they're going to stand underneath the lights and actually going to pose and present themselves on display course you're going to attract that audience that's a given but like i said to have genuine general mass appeal to the general public at large never going to happen never going to happen people cannot relate to it dudes are not going to like i'm not going to go and sit and watch a chess tournament you know what i mean like one that would be like ours no well most men are not going to sit down and watch a male beauty pageant they're just not going to for many, many multiple reasons. You're going to have one sector of all the men that wouldn't go or are going to not go because it's, um, I don't know, it challenges them on various levels psychologically, you know. Uh, and, and, and then the majority of men doesn't challenge them necessarily. They're quite comfortable with who they are. It's just that they have no interest in it. They're heterosexual dudes. They have no interest in it. And then the icing on the cake, you know, the frosting on the cake that, that keeps it from going mainstream is it's anticlimactic. It's completely boring, right? At that level, to the average person, one guy looks like the next guy. You know, how do you know? Who, how do you judge? Can anybody step up and judge one of these bodybuilding shows? Do they? Do the people on the inside, do they feel that way? Of course they don't. They don't they, they, their judges need to be certain, you know, educated and precise and experienced and they're looking for certain things or whatever the fuck the bullshit is right they think they're gonna have the average joe just throw them in there and let them judge no of course not well to the average joe they look very much the same they're not gonna you know these little nuances nobody's sitting there and looking at these men like oh like looking for every little you know what i mean like we're looking at them that closely and you know come on man that's not a natural thing for another dude to do it just isn't I think that even if you're a dude attracted to dudes, you're going to have your favorite anyway, and it's going to not have a whole lot to do with where that person places. You know, correct me if I'm wrong. So you're always going to have your little built-in audiences for things, uh, you know, and uh, you know, your little cult following or audience, and you'd be thankful you have that. You know, anybody that got into bodybuilding because they thought they were going to get rich, I'm sure they very quickly found out that that's not true. Um, and they, you know, if they're still in it, they, they should be in it for the passion of it. Now, you may have guys that have been around a long time, you know, like a Dexter Jackson or somebody who, no question, had to love just the passion of lifting and challenging himself to get to where he's gotten, like all these other guys. But he's been there so long that now, you know, he's trying to build up enough of a cushion I would imagine, you know, that he can get all the wins under his belt as possible and get all the paychecks he can get so he can retire because he's, he's probably through with it. You know what I mean? He's done enough of it. So, you know, no, it'll never go mainstream, and it shouldn't. It shouldn't because you're, you're, again, it would be a case of you're, you're, you're delusional in thinking it would. You're thinking you're going to normalize abnormality. And that happens in some cases today, and I'm against it. 
because it just makes no logical sense. You know, you've already got it normalized that there are more than two genders. That's abnormal thinking, man. That's unrealistic. That's not factually true. It's not scientifically true. It's abnormality. If you think that you're of a different gender, that's an abnormality. You're part of a minority thinking that way, and that's an abnormality. And no, the world shouldn't bend and cater to your abnormality. Okay, this, this is an abnormality. Do you understand that, what I look like? When people see me out and about, do you think they look at me and think I'm just a normal guy? No, they think whatever, some kind of bizarre shit about who I must be. Because I'm abnormal. This is abnormal. This drive or desire or whatever is taken to arrive at this, it's abnormal. Not saying abnormality equals bad, just saying abnormality equals abnormality. The opposite of the norm. That which is not goes against the grain of the norm. That which goes against the grain of the norm is abnormal. So it's abnormal. And yeah, abnormality is not supposed to be given the nod above normality. It's just not going to happen. It's abnormality, and the majority of people, they may each have their own abnormality, but you can't always, it's not always so obvious. It's not always so obvious. You know, like this, you see it. It's very obvious. Um, coming out and proclaiming that you're a different gender than male or female. It's obvious abnormality. You know, that kind of thing. Now, I'm not talking about, look, don't get all riled up. I'm abnormality also. I'm not saying it's bad. Just saying it is what it is. And, uh, you know, the hell with it. I don't give a shit what year it is. I'm not of that school. I'm an old school guy brought up when common sense prevailed. And a fact is a fact. A reality is reality. That's just what it is. I mean, you can, you can proclaim that you're a bird and you're going to jump off this roof here and fly. And you can think it all you want and you can proclaim it all you want. Now, if you believe you're in bullshit, then it's beyond abnormal. That's delusional. Because if you jump off of this roof, you're sure and shit, you're going to bust your ass on this concrete. You're not So there should never become a time when they're going to enact laws and rules and boundaries where I have to comply and agree with you. Oh, yeah, you're a bird. You can jump off that roof and fly. No, I'm going to tell you straight up, bro, don't jump off that roof because you're going to be sorry because reality hurts. You know, reality can hurt. <clears throat> so that's my standing on it. Bodybuilding is an abnormality. Bodybuilding shows are the most boring thing in the world. They're boring to even participate in, in my opinion, all freaking day long. It's a whole weekend shot in the ass, basically. You know. If you're one of the select few, you're making the dollars, you're making the bucks, I understand you're already committed, you're already there, you already have so much invested, you're making the money, you know, rather than turn around and start something else from scratch and take a pay cut, then I see, I understand you're chasing that, I understand that, you know, and if it's your passion, I understand that, but certainly I would hope that in this day and age, that with the information that's available, people don't just come up green and fresh and decide, I want to be wealthy one day, so I'm going to become a bodybuilder. It's not where it's at. <clears throat> you know, it's an abnormality. Not saying it's bad, again, like any other abnormality. But you shouldn't be normalizing abnormality. Abnormalities. All right. So I guess that's it. You know, I mean, they won't normalize my abnormality one lick. Right? Try and tell... Try and tell your, your government, in whatever form that would intervene, that uh, you don't care what kind of laws they enact. You're, you're, you should have the right to practice your abnormality, which might be building excessive muscle. So you should have a right to get all the testosterone that you need. You know, see how, see if that flies. It ain't gonna happen. So, yeah. All right. Well, let's put that to bed, and. Uh, move on to more pressing and, and relevant issues, I guess, right? I don't know. I'm probably ready to work out now, I think. Yeah, it's a little chilly out, but I'm going to get it done, and I'll video it. All right, you guys, I'll be back in a bit. Take care.